Hey scholars, this is Ms. Ramirez. Today we're going to continue reading A Place for Birds, written by Melissa Stewart and illustrated by Higgins Bond. Now, just like the other days, I want you to think about what was the bird's problem and how did humans help? So think about that while we read this few next, next few pages. Migrating birds can be confused by windows too. When people mark their windows or pull, pull down shades, birds can live and grow. Now let's read the caption. This caption is about Anna's hummingbird. Each year, at least 365 million birds die after crashing into windows in the United States. Migrating birds, such as Anna's hummingbirds, are at the greatest risk. The birds are fooled by windows that reflect trees or bushes. They may also crash if it can see through a window to a window on, the, on an opposite wall. You can help these birds by adding images to your windows or by using window blinds or shades. Birds that eat seeds don't have to migrate, but if they go to backyard bird feeders, they may be attacked by a hungry house cat. When people keep their pet cats indoors, birds can live and grow. Now let's read about the Northern Cardinal. Cats are hunters. Their natural instinct tells them to attack anything that moves, including cardinals and other birds. Peter Mara, a scientist at the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Washington, D.C., estimates that cats kill as many as 3.7 billion birds every year in the United States. Keeping pet cats indoors can save cardinals, chickadees, and other birds that visit backyard feeders. So good job, scholars. Now, we've read about two different birds, so I want you to think about what was the problem that these birds had and how did humans help them. 